Hello, I haven't done one of these live videos outside in a while. I was walking through this lovely garden, this lovely park. I think it might be a botanical garden. I mean, look at the... These are real, these flowers behind me, these are real. I was going to show you the rest of this, the rest of this park, but there's there's a lot of water features and it. it's very loud. I don't think it would make for a nice video. So you just get this, this lovely backdrop today. So I wanted to ask you a couple of questions and talk about a couple of things. Namely, um, functional training. So, so I guess you'd call it like working out and fasting i want to ask you uh some co a couple of questions about these about these topics and share my my experience so i'm actually just on the way to a massage right now i was training last week and have some sore muscles and what do you do you go and get a massage that's what you do that's the normal thing so i'm going to get that nice massage and i get to walk through this lovely park as i as i do it and i actually just broke my i broke a fast today so i think i was aiming for 36 hours but on the day that i was supposed to be starting the fast I actually had no appetite, so I just started it a little bit early, and I think I ended up fasting around 41, 41 and a half hours. And this is something that I've been doing very consistently, and I'm really proud of myself for doing this. I've managed to do a 36 hour fast for the last, one, 36 hour fast once a week for the last eight weeks. Now there was maybe one exception in there where I did a 24 hour fast instead. I had a very stressful day that I needed to I needed to go, do a lot of things I needed to be physically active so I had breakfast on that day and just fasted all the way through the day and then ate breakfast the next day as opposed to how I've been doing my 36 hour fast which is where I'll eat all the way to the end of Thursday night so I'll stop eating about 8 p.m on Thursday night and then I don't eat anything for all of Friday and then I can start eating again on Saturday at about 8 a.m and this has been working really well for me this is a, a type of fasting I wouldn't have been able to do a while back it would have been too stressful for me but my body is really strong now and i'm starting to be able to fast in different ways so it's really cool and this this is working for me this kind of fasting is really working which leads me to my first question what has your experience been with fasting i know there's some people that really struggle with it i know there's some people that do it even more religiously than me tell me a bit about how your, your fasting experience because i have quite a lot i've done a five day i've done a five day water fast i think it was three days water two days uh, juice and broth so but overall it was a five day fast and that's the longest one i've ever done but i've done maybe half a dozen three day fasts and i've i've done more single day fasts than i can than i can even think we must be looking at over a hundred now so i've accumulated quite a lot of fasting hours and i have quite a lot of experience but i'd be really interested to hear about your experiences with with fasting how does fasting work for you is it something that you can be consistent with and if it's something that you know helps you or you know works for you, or maybe it's something that you know you want to do, but you're not sure how to implement, would you be interested in some support in doing that? So one of the projects that I'm working on coming up is going to be a group coaching program where we're focusing on really nailing the basics of the healing process, one of which being fasting. And this, in, included in this, we're going to be having weekly fasting support. It's going to probably mirror how I've been doing my fasting. So it's going to be fasting support on the Friday, maybe the Saturday and the Sunday as well for anyone that wants to do more extended fasting. Is that something you'd be interested in? Is it something you think would help you in your healing process? Now, my second question for you, this is re with regards to training. So if you've ever done bodybuilding, if you've ever been to the gym for like two or three months at least, if you've ever done some kind of like athleticism, how do you, how do you take care of your body after you do the training? You know, the training is going really well for me. I'm focusing on compound movements so these are movements i mean if you train already you already know this these are these are movements that are incorporating many different they're recruiting many different muscles in your body so this you'd think like press ups pull ups squats you know using multiple muscles in like at the same time so i'm using that as the as the base and then i'm accenting this with isolated movements that focus on my muscle imbalances so i've got let's say like poor glute activation in my um, in my bum, in my glutes, my, my glute major and my glute minor, and also my adductors and my abductors. So these are the legs, these are the, the, the muscles that basically move your legs side to side. These ones are really weak for me, so I'm working on training these with sort of isolated movements. And also in my in my back, I'm working on my rear delts, which are kind of like on the back of your shoulders here. My lower, my lower, uh, my lower traps, which are, so we all get trigger points up here. This is where I have my trigger points right now in your upper traps but these are just one part of your trapezius muscle you've got lower traps that are kind of in the middle of your back kind of between your shoulder blades and your spine and if you have underdeveloped lower uh, lower traps then your upper traps will, will will develop trigger points and you'll have problems so i'm working on on correcting these muscle imbalances with more isolated movements but my question for you is how do you recover 
how do you improve your recovery process? I've been going to the sauna the day afterwards and sauna has a whole bunch of different detox benefits. It's, there's a whole there's a whole host of benefits to it, but it is a kind of like a form of cardio. So it works really nice like a like a sort of active recovery. The heat really helps to melt your muscles and draw the toxins out and it really boosts the recovery process. So I've built this really nice routine where I'm fasting once a week, I'm training twice a week, and I'm doing the sauna twice a week. And this is really a really awesome healing protocol for me. It's working really, really nicely. So if you've done any training before, how do you support your body with recovery? I know we've got like active recovery techniques. I've been using the sauna. I do massage. I have a massage gun at home. Do you have any other tips? I would really love to hear. That's everything for me today. I hope you're having a really lovely day. I always feel really nice when I break my fasts. I just woke up today feeling a bit more in love with the world than I have been recently. Sometimes I think life can feel a bit like a chore. You know, you've got work, you've got things to do. And I, like, I love my job. I'm not saying that I don't, but work is still work, you know, and you can get overwhelmed with the amount of responsibilities that you have. And life's just felt really like, oh, and fasting is really nice because you just, I just pause. I just put everything on pause. And it really helps me introspect. You know, fasting doesn't just clean your physical body. It cleans your thoughts. It cleans your emotions. And it's just a nice reset. And adding this in every week has been really nice for helping me stay on track with my goals and keeping myself balanced. So I thought it would be really nice to come and have a little walk through this garden and connect with you and do a little video and see how you're doing. So regardless of the questions that I've asked you, how are you doing right now? I'd really love to hear. I'm doing okay. I'm getting there. But that's everything from me, so take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.